Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how we can enable long path for a file name in Windows 10. Natively this function comes disabled um, and it's important to enable this function uh, for so for so many reasons like sometimes you won't be able to you will not be able to open up these files in Word or Excel if the file has a very long path like a long name um, and you cannot even do some comparison between files if you use an application called like such as Beyond Compare you won't be able to do that if you don't have the long path enabled in Windows 10. So there are two ways to enable it, either through the Windows registry or through the group policy. Most of the users don't have access to group policies. I'm going to be talking about how we can add it through the Windows registry. So the first step to do is basically just click start, type regedit. And there are there is an important information here, like our uh, important step that we have to take uh, in order for you to access a registry and save things. Uh, you have to be and you have to have an administrative account or you have to be an administrator in your account in Windows 10 to be able to make changes so here in my case I'm already an administrator so I'm just click I'm gonna click open and before I do any change to the registry I will back it up first so I'll just click file and click export and then just name the file that I want to save to and I save it normally if you back up the entire registry it could be from 500 mix to up to two or three gigs depending how many registry uh, edit, edit, uh, edit things that you have in your registry or how many changes that you have in your registry so um, it all depends how you want to do this um, you can also do a simple backup for the changes that we're going to do which I'm going to show you but it's recommended that you take a complete backup for registry in case something happens you can at least retrieve or you can restore it um, and the file name that you're going to save when you export registry will look something like that and I just called it test um, and how basically to restore it, you just double click it, then you press yes, and that's how it restores back the registry to the normal. If, if something goes wrong, that's your re last resort to come back to. But in this case, and in most cases, I haven't seen any issues when people do a single change the registry. To navigate through the long path to enable it, you just have to go to HK local machine, then you go have to go to go to system, then you go to control set 01, then you go to control. We expand all these and then we search for something called file name and then we go to the fourth option in here where it shows long paths enabled you just double click it in hexadecimal code uh, we have to leave it as hexadecimal one means it's enabled zero means it's disabled so normally you would find it as zero you just change it back to one to one like this and then you press ok and then you close the editor and then you just reboot your computer regularly and then that after it reboots and comes back and you boot onto your windows you will be able to have this feature enabled and you'll be able to open up these files uh, that have long paths hope this video was helpful guys uh, and simplified and uh, to the point uh, please subscribe to my channel like my videos to support me if you like this video and then uh, hopefully i'll be posting more videos in the coming days uh, so until then have yourself an excellent day